you see I always have that uh, image in my in my mind you know during the time of uh, genocide regime and at that time you know uh, people lost all of hope and all of expectation and we always feel fears every second you know it means that uh, we try even connection between husband and wife we cannot have a very close connection with each other even talk because they can uh, uh, what we call uh, subject to us that we will have some secret uh, uh, story you know to share and to run away something like that so we try to be careful every second and because of the killing uh, act you see just show us every day you know so everyone just feel very uh, threatened you know because we don't know when is our turn that's why we try to work very hard you know both men and women even children the small small children also working in the field that's why once i uh, was delivered from uh, that regime you see i always remind myself that uh, i should not uh, what we call uh, a feel lost in front of any job you know I have to be strong, I have to encourage myself uh, and have to achieve my job, you know. And I also try to uh, tell the story to my children because they are all uh, give birth after Pol Pot regime. So they didn't see, you know, the uh, this scene. And I always remind them not to uh, make them fear but to make them uh, learn, you know, to, to give them lessons or experience that we should avoid, you know, we should avoid this uh, story again. And starting by uh, families, it's enough, you know, to lose. We lost everything. We lost family members, we lost uh, uh, community. We have to build up or strengthen, you see, our community, re-strengthen our community and also re, uh, re, uh, rehabilitate, you know, our, our society rather than just try to uh, destroy again, you see, our society. Then we try to uh, train because I was teacher, because I was uh, working at uh, a position where I can uh, talk to the people, I always remind them yeah, that uh, peace is very important. Without peace, we cannot develop.